Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Stomach Cancer Introduction Stomach cancer is a common type of cancer. Stomach cancer is also known as gastric cancer. The earlier stomach cancer is detected and treated, the more likely are the chances of a successful treatment. This program will help you better understand stomach cancer. It also discusses the causes, symptoms, and treatment options for stomach cancer. Anatomy The stomach is a hollow organ. It is located in the upper abdomen, under the ribs. The stomach is part of the digestive system. The digestive system includes organs that take in food and turn it into products that the body can use to produce energy and stay healthy. After digestion, products that cannot be used by the body leave the body through bowel movements. Swallowed food first goes through the esophagus, which is the tube that takes the food to the stomach. Acid and enzymes are secreted by the stomach to digest food. The stomach digests the food, turning the food into liquid. Muscles in the stomach push the liquid into the small intestine. Stomach Cancer The body is made up of very small cells. Normal cells in the body grow and die in a controlled way. Sometimes cells keep dividing and growing in an uncontrolled way, causing an abnormal growth called a tumor. If the tumor does not invade nearby tissues and body parts, it is called a benign tumor, or non-cancerous growth. Benign tumors are usually not life-threatening. If the tumor invades nearby tissues and body parts, it is called a malignant tumor, or cancer. Cancerous cells spread to different parts of the body through blood vessels and lymph channels. Lymph is a clear fluid produced by the body that drains waste from cells. It travels through special vessels and bean-shaped structures called lymph nodes. Cancer that moves from one tissue to other body parts is known as metastatic cancer. For instance, a stomach tumor may invade other organs either directly or through the lymph system. It could, for example, grow through the stomach's outer layer into nearby organs such as the liver, pancreas, esophagus, or intestine. Cancers in the body are given names, depending on where the cancer started. Cancer that begins in the stomach will always be called stomach cancer, even if it spreads to other places. Stomach cancer usually starts as an overgrowth of normal cells. These growths are called polyps. Cells in polyps may continue to grow out of control. These can become cancerous and should be removed as early as possible before they spread. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute, www.patient-education.com. Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Risk factors. It is usually impossible to specify the cause of cancer in an individual patient, but we do know what causes cancer in general. Certain factors can increase a person's chances of getting cancer. These are known as risk factors. Certain bacterial infections in the stomach can increase your chances of developing stomach cancer. People who have had part of their stomach removed for ulcer disease or have long-term inflammation of the stomach are at increased risk of stomach cancer. People who smoke are more likely to develop stomach cancer than non-smokers. The more cigarettes a person smokes each day, the greater their risk of stomach cancer. If a close relative had stomach cancer, you are at an increased risk for developing it. If many close relatives have stomach cancer, you are at an even higher risk. People who eat a lot of foods that are smoked, salted, or pickled have an increased risk for stomach cancer. On the other hand, people who eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables may have a lower risk of stomach cancer. Lack of exercise may increase the risk of stomach cancer. 
obesity also increases the risk of stomach cancer. Not everybody who has risk factors for stomach cancer develops stomach cancer. Some people who have no risk factors for stomach cancer can still develop the cancer. Symptoms Common symptoms of stomach cancer are discomfort or pain in the stomach area, difficulty swallowing, nausea and vomiting, weight loss. Symptoms of stomach cancer also include heartburn or indigestion, feeling full or bloated after a small meal, vomiting blood or having blood in the stool, fatigue. These symptoms may not be caused by stomach cancer. Common problems like infections or stomach ulcers can cause similar symptoms. Make sure to see a healthcare provider to find out what is causing your symptoms. Diagnosis The best way to treat stomach cancer is by finding it early. It is sometimes possible to find this type of cancer even before it causes any symptoms. If you have symptoms of stomach cancer, your healthcare provider will try to find out if stomach cancer is the cause of your symptoms or if there is another cause. Your healthcare provider will ask you about your personal and family medical history. You may also have blood tests or other lab tests to rule out other causes of your symptoms. A physical exam may be performed. During a physical exam, your healthcare provider feels your abdomen for fluid, swelling, or other changes. They will also check for swollen lymph nodes. An endoscopy may also be done. First, your healthcare provider will numb your throat with an anesthetic spray. You may also be given medicine to help you relax. During an endoscopy, a thin, lighted tube called an endoscope is used to look into your stomach. The tube is passed through your mouth and esophagus to the stomach. A biopsy may be performed during an endoscopy. A biopsy is a removal of cells or tissue for examination by a pathologist. A pathologist will examine the tissue under a microscope to look for cancer cells. A biopsy is the only sure way to know if cancer cells are present. Staging If you have stomach cancer, your healthcare provider will determine the stage of the cancer. Staging is an attempt to find out if the cancer has spread and, if so, to which parts of the body. Stages are usually described using the numbers 1 through 4. A lower number indicates an earlier stage. Staging is helpful in deciding the best course of treatment. When staging stomach cancer, healthcare providers want to find out how deeply the tumor invades the wall of the stomach, whether the stomach tumor has invaded nearby tissues, whether the cancer has spread, and if so, to what parts of the body. Stomach cancer can spread to nearby lymph nodes, the liver, pancreas, esophagus, intestine, or other organs. Blood tests, in addition to other tests, can help your healthcare provider check these areas. A chest x-ray can show whether cancer has spread to the lungs. Tumors can show up on a CT scan. A CT scan is an x-ray machine linked to a computer. A CT scan takes a series of detailed pictures of your organs. An injection of dye may be given to make abnormal areas easier to see. A PET scan can show if the stomach cancer has spread elsewhere in the body. For this test, you are injected with a small amount of safe radioactive sugar. The PET scanner makes a picture of the places in your body where the sugar is being taken up. Cancer cells show up brighter because they use sugar faster than normal cells. An endoscopic ultrasound uses sound waves generated by a scope that is inserted down your throat to create pictures of your stomach and other organs. Laparoscopic surgery may also be used for staging stomach cancer. During a laparoscopy, a surgeon makes small incisions in your abdomen. A thin, lighted tube called a laparoscope is inserted into the abdomen. The surgeon may remove lymph nodes or take tissue samples for biopsy. Sometimes the stage of the cancer is not known until after surgery to remove the tumor in nearby lymph nodes. Treatment and supportive care The type of treatment used depends on the size and location of the tumor, the stage of the disease, and the health of the patient. 
Treatment for stomach cancer may involve surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. Most people receive more than one type of treatment. Surgery for stomach cancer depends on where the cancer is located in your stomach. The surgeon may remove part of the stomach or the whole stomach. Surrounding tissue may also be removed. Chemotherapy is the use of drugs to kill cancer cells. Chemotherapy is usually given in the bloodstream through an IV. Radiation therapy uses high-energy rays to kill cancer cells and stop them from growing and spreading. The radiation that treats the cells comes from a machine that aims the rays at a specific area of the body. Chemotherapy and radiation therapy may sometimes be done together. These treatments may be used on their own before surgery or after surgery. Targeted therapy and immunotherapy may also be options. Targeted therapy uses drugs to target specific differences in cancer cells to try and prevent the cells from growing and spreading. Immunotherapy fights cancer by boosting your body's immune system to kill cancer cells, slow down their growth, or prevent them from spreading. There may be clinical trials available for people with stomach cancer in your area. Clinical trials test new medical approaches and treatments. People with advanced stomach cancer may develop a tumor that blocks the passage of food through the digestive tract. Your healthcare provider may suggest one or more of the following treatment options. Stent, radiation therapy, laser therapy. A stent is a tube made out of metal mesh or plastic. A stent will hold open the blocked intestine so that food and liquid can pass through. Healthcare providers use an endoscope to place a stent. Radiation therapy may help shrink a tumor that is blocking the intestine. Laser therapy may be used to destroy the cancer cells blocking the digestive tract. A laser is a concentrated beam of intense light that kills tissue with heat. The healthcare provider uses an endoscope to place the laser in your digestive tract. Supportive care is treatment to control pain, other symptoms, and the side effects of therapy. It can help you cope with the stress that the diagnosis and treatment may cause. It is important to have supportive care before, during, and after cancer treatment. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Stomach cancer is a common type of cancer. Stomach cancer is also known as gastric cancer. The earlier stomach cancer is detected and treated, the more likely are the chances of a successful treatment. Common symptoms of stomach cancer are discomfort or pain in the stomach area, difficulty swallowing, nausea and vomiting, weight loss. Symptoms of stomach cancer also include heartburn or indigestion, feeling full or bloated after a small meal, vomiting blood or having blood in the stool, fatigue. If you have stomach cancer, your healthcare provider will determine the stage of the cancer. Staging is an attempt to find out if the cancer has spread and, if so, to which parts of the body. The type of treatment used depends on the size and location of the tumor, the stage of the disease, and the health of the patient. Treatment for stomach cancer may involve surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. Most people receive more than one type of treatment. People with advanced stomach cancer may develop a tumor that blocks the passage of food through the digestive tract. Your healthcare provider may suggest one or more of the following treatment options. Stent, radiation therapy, laser therapy. Thank you for using Explain.